Hi, my name is Christina Forney. I'm an internal tools engineer at Palantir Technologies. I grew up here in the Bay Area in Co Cupertino and uh, went to college in the lovely San Luis Obispo at Cal Poly. So I was in my third year of college and I was, had finished taking all of my animal science classes, which I loved. I was good at it, but it just never hit home. It, was, it wasn't something that I wanted to continue to do. I was just never inspired to discover further, to dig deeper. And so I, I come from a family of computer scientists. Both my parents have computer science degrees. Uh, so technology has always been very easy for me. It's come naturally. And I uh, took a computer science class just for a technical elective. And the title of the class is called Computers for Poets. So it's designed to be a computer science class for very non-technical students. And having taken that class, I just, I loved it. I was so inspired. In the lab, we, we learned a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, nothing, nothing too fancy. But I was so excited to go home and do my labs and to learn more and dig deeper. I was like, oh, maybe this is what I'm meant to do. The best thing about computer science is that you can do anything you want. If you're interested in nutrition, if you're interested in biology, if you're interested in animal science, whatever you want to do, that field is going to need a computer scientist. They're going to need some sort of piece of technology built for them. As an internal tools engineer, I work on the build systems. So I help making, make sure that our platform is built into little packages that can be distributed to our clients. Uh, I do much, much more than that. I write tools that help make our developers' lives easier. So my customers are actually our internal developers. And I build things for them, which is great because I'm building things for a technical person. My first experience with stereotype in the field of computer science was day one of Computer Science 101. And I sat down in the front of the class, and I was dressed up a little bit. I had had an important meeting earlier that day. And I sat down, and I was a little bit older of a student. I didn't start computer science until my third year of college. And I'm sitting in this class full of freshman boys. There weren't, I think there was one other girl in the class. and. Uh, sitting down in the front of the class, this, the student sitting next to me like looked at me, was trying to look at me sideways, kind of with his notebook, and I could tell he was thinking, should I tell her she's in the wrong room? Like, he, they, he couldn't believe that I was actually meant to be there. And so when the teacher's calling roll, seeing who's attendance, and I raised my hand and said, yeah, I'm here. They almost, I, I, I felt the stares. You know, the jaws were dropping. Like, she's in this class. <laughs> she, she's not lost. The best advice I can give for someone coming into the field who may be intimidated by the fact that they're going to stand out is to own the fact that you're going to stand out. Know that it's going to happen, be prepared for it, and use it to your advantage. I was able to get extra help from my professors because they knew who I was. When you're the only girl in class, the teacher knows when you don't show up. So having that advantage, it kept me accountable, and my name was known. They knew who I was. I have fantastic relationships with all of my faculty, and I still keep in touch with them to this day. So it's important to change the demographics in computer science because women provide a totally different perspective. I remember hearing, reading an article about one of the first uh, voice automated pieces of software, and all the men who had built it, well, all the people who had built it, were men. And so when one of them brought the tool home to their wife to try out, the, the piece of software could not even recognize her voice. She couldn't even use it. And they had almost built to finality, and they had to go back and tr like completely try again because they hadn't even considered the fact that people could have different pitched voices. Having a greater diversity in computer science is going to enable us to solve a greater variety of problems. We're going to be able to have a broader perspective and thus provide a much better solution than we would have with a singular mindset.